Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Istanbul and I'm starting this series of course with the cats in Turkey, check this out we have uh, three cats right here I wasn't planning to start the vlog this way we have another cat right here but why not, Istanbul is also called uh, actually cat city okay, a little cuteness to the start of the vlog so we are in Istanbul and uh, I'm back to my favorite country and most importantly my favorite city which is Istanbul huge city in Turkey and uh, my, one of the main spots connecting Europe with Asia and right now I am actually in Sultanahmet Square where we're gonna see Sultanahmet Mosque which is on my left side and then later on we're gonna see Hagia Sophia which is going to be on my right side and I am actually coming quite often to Istanbul I'm using it as my hub I come here quite often because I speak the language fluently I know the food of the country I know the people of the country so which makes me very comfortable and I feel like home every time here let me show you around and then we're gonna continue we have this cleaning machine passing by, so let's give it a chance. This is uh, one of the uh, iconic areas where people are sitting and enjoying the views. And most importantly, we have the view to this beautiful Sultan Ahmed Mosque, which is also called Blue Mosque, actually. And surprisingly, today is a, such a beautiful day sun is shining there's a little wind as well and we have most importantly beautiful views to the history so this mosque you are seeing at the moment which is around 400 years old so being built around 17th century and uh, can you imagine every morning i'm just passing by from here to go to do my work go to cafe go to gym in the morning early morning like at 7 a.m and at the moment it's also 8.40 so which means it's quite early and it's actually one of the best ways to come and explore the, these areas because later on it gets really really, really very busy so right now you don't see so many people but normally in one two hours all these buses tourist buses arrive here and it gets very chaotic at, at this spot and you can see on the other side already we have a huge lines for Hagia Sophia so I think uh, they are still waiting for the opening. Uh, I think they're opening around 9 a.m. But we'll see. We are not gonna go inside or anything, but I want to show you the views and then later I'm gonna take you to my favorite spots. And when I come to Istanbul, what I do exactly, I'm gonna go through the day-to-day -day life, maybe get some food, do a little shopping, get a coffee, Turkish coffee, which is one of the iconic things to do here. And most importantly, of course, you are waiting for Hagia Sophia view which I'm gonna show you in seconds and most importantly we have a beautiful season right now and this nice tree no idea what's the name if you know please let me know it's blooming at the moment so pinkish flowers looks very very beautiful and this is the iconic Hagia Sophia Hagia Sophia actually uh, been church in the history and later on it been switched to museum so which means before when you wanted to go inside you had to pay you had to get a ticket and uh, only a few years ago they actually switched it to a mosque so which means it's a place for praying at the moment still tourists has the chance to go except uh, praying times uh, so praying times can get really busy because people working in this area living in this area might go for a prayer and uh, tourists also have a separate space where they can uh, check the, how people are praying and they can still enjoy the architecture of Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia is uh, 1500 years old so it's a very iconic and historical uh, building here. So such a nice views as I mentioned try to come as early as possible so you have the chance to enjoy and take uh, good pictures while you are exploring this incredible Istanbul city and some people might be not happy with me calling it Istanbul which is the real name of the city but some people who left behind in the history who is living in the past they would be still calling the city Constantinople uh, 
which is not the case. The city's name is Istanbul. Get over it and accept it and uh, use it and refer it as its name, Istanbul. So, and another thing I wanted to mention is that uh, name of the country. So, some people call it Turkey, some people might be calling it Turkey, uh, which actually that's how you say a country name in the local language. So, there is a little discussion about that too, but I will refer the country as a Turkey, which I am very comfortable with to use it. And uh, well, maybe time, time to time I might use Turkey too. So this is another iconic square here. One of the beautiful places where you can take a picture with this iconic building. I'm gonna show you the ceiling of this building which is very very beautiful with golden colors and bluish colors and on a distance you can also see Sultan Ahmed. So Sultan Ahmed is actually under construction at the moment so when you get in actually you don't see the complete uh, ceiling of it you see only parts of it and this uh, construction is going for quite a bit now maybe a few years now I'm not sure when they're gonna finish but yeah but Hagia Sophia is uh, fully open so you can see everything there so check this beautiful architecture out guys how incredible is this and I'm so so happy that this place has been kept uh, quite clean nice and uh, organized there's also security systems all around the square so when you're actually trying to get in to this here you might be checked um, you might be asked by the police to actually check out your bag to make sure everyone is safe it's for your safety and for everyone's safety I'm gonna show you the police post which is in every corner of the square and as the things uh, I want to mention is actually the trash bins you might be saying what's so interesting about trash bins trash bins are actually here are very visible as you can see the structure of it it's a uh, it's been built this way so you can see what's inside the trash actually because uh, Turkey in general Istanbul been fighting with terrorism quite a lot and uh, in the last past years lots of enemies and internal enemies external enemies of the country so it's a uh, very important that you know you cannot leave your bag anywhere you want you also uh, this trash bins being more transparent so to make sure that if someone placing something inside the trash bin it's visible from outside so it's not a typical trash bin where you don't see what's inside so that's the reason they are using these plastic forms to make everyone safe and most importantly make you safe and as a little mosque right here uh, when we are about to leave the square this one is actually used mostly by the locals and the shopkeepers when it's actually praying time they would just arrive here and do their prayers much quickly rather than waiting actually on the line for the Sofia. so quite a iconic uh, little mosque by the tram lines actually so these are the police posts which you have to pass and uh, there's actually specific places where you can pass by so you can enter from one place and you can exit from another place to make sure there's a much better control this is a very touristic uh, street basically this is one of my favorite places it's called uh, Hafiz Mustafa for baklava if you are looking for baklava come here there's a köfteci which is basically meatballs uh, very very good quality and very touristy obviously uh, but good prices in this uh, meatball places and iconic trams of Istanbul check this out this takes you all the way down you will pass by Hagia Sophia but we are heading another way and uh, I want to show you the tram system of the place as well so let's uh, cross the road and I'm gonna show you how I am passing by to the other side I mean um, for the trams I'm using actually this little Istanbul cart which you can purchase on your arrival makes it so much easier because you can use for anything trams metro as well as you can use actually for toilets so public toilets toilets um, so you can actually use this you pay like one lira to get in you can purchase this anywhere and also you can actually uh, upload more if you need more so this is the typical system here you just put it in I'm paying actually 10 lira right now 
Merhaba. So basically you pay 10 lira, which I'm gonna translate it in a bit for you. Exchange rate, what's the what's the real price we pay? And you can take this tram as long as you want for 10 lira only. So as of now, 10 lira is actually 50 50 cents. Basically, we are paying 51 cents uh, to for one entrance. And at the moment, exchange rate is actually one dollar is approximately 20 liras. Turkish uh, lira is not actually very stable. It changes quite a lot. Depends on what, but yeah, uh, it's. Uh, Inflation is quite big in the country. So when you are watching this video, it might not be the same rate I'm paying one dollar is basically 20 liras. So this is a small nice uh, Station here again during afternoon during the evening. It will get chaotic here. It gets very very busy And we have another tram is coming All right, we are heading uh, further to Grand Bazaar direction so I will connect with you later. Once the, tr once the tram is here and we can uh, travel two stops only, then we will get out. Oh, actually the tram is here, so I might still continue to shooting. It's coming in a distance. And uh, every station here actually normally have one cat, and which I find it in the next ones, maybe I will show you which is uh, super cute. There's always one cat sleeping on the bench somewhere. Okay, we are taking this tram, takes us to Bagjalar direction. Let's see how busy is it. Oh, this tram is already busy. All right, let's see how I'm busy it will get. So today is a working day. It's getting busy and busy uh, because the working hours are here. 9, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Right now I'm in Bayazid, which is the two stations away from Sultan Ahmed. Uh, it's called Bayazid uh, Station or Istasyonu basically is the name it in Turkish means station. And I'm gonna take you somewhere unique. It's a little hidden gem. It's not so hidden, I guess, for the locals, but it's a little hidden for, for the tourists and for the expats. If you are in this area, there's a place called Kapalı Çarşı, which is basically the Grand Bazaar. That's not uh, what's hidden, but what's hidden is next to it. There's a big uh, book uh, store or book market, you can call it, and it's quite easy to find it. All you need to do when you get out of the, the tram you can see the Grand Bazaar right here. Uh, Kapalı Çarşı is the Turkish name of it and the Grand Bazaar. This is a one entrance. Uh, Grand Bazaar has lots of entrances. But what you need to do, you actually, you need to proceed to the left side. So don't get into the, into the bazaar, but proceed further. In this area, they sell all these uh, fake shoes and uh, bags and everything you are looking for. But what we are looking for is actually this place called Sahavlar Çarşısı. It's basically a little market where you can find some unique stuff. If you are if you are looking for it from the far, that's also what you can read. It's basically say Sahavlar Çarşısı. It's basically bookstore, but on a market level. And this is the entrance, which gets uh, quite colorful. And let's see what we find here. Of course. We find some cats. This is our first interactions. Hello. And we have uh, two more cats here. They are huge actually. Look at this one. So cute. Are you friendly? Can I pet you? Oh, quite friendly. All right. So it's quite early. The shops are getting opened slowly. Here you can find some unique uh, books and uh, some old books as well I think but most importantly they do this uh, how to say 
more like artistic way of writing stuff which we can hopefully find and hopefully I can get my name written in Arabic letters but more artistic way so lots of these shops all around this little square if you want to call it and there's also a mosque in the distance I think this shop gonna be our friend oh we have another cat here how cute is this hi there do you want some more water more water I don't know oh. ah nice okay a little bit more how quick is that was just waiting there for the water to come <laughs> so cute so huge as well All right when this cat finished the morning drinking later on we're gonna go to the shop check it out all right are you done yet <laughs> this is so cute i didn't expect this to be part of a vlog but we are getting some water for the cat too and it's so quiet here some more cat content from Istanbul all right I guess you are done right all right don't want to be touched see you bye so these are the shops I've been talking about look at this beautiful artwork all these Arabic letters and also items for drawing and stuff like that which looks uh, beautiful Merhaba, kolay gelsin. Merhaba, sağ olasın, hoş geldin. Aa, şey, o Arapça yazıyorsunuz ya böyle bir şeyler var mı? Burada yapıyor musunuz? Ay, normalde yapıyoruz abi. Şu an yapan arkadaş yok burada. Aa, tamam. Başka yani. bir mağaza var mı? Vallahi nerede var? Kapalı çarşının içinde var. Bir de çemberli taşta var. Onlar daha Bur çok Burada yok. Yok, burada daha yok. Aa, tamam. Arapçadan ziyade <gülüyor> şey, Latin alfabe yazıyorlar. Latin, okay. Hı -hı. Okay. Teşekkürler. Rica ederim. Alright. You don't have the someone actually making the text for us at the moment so I think we're gonna just skip it but normally you can get some artwork here with your name or with your loved one's name on a nice paper and then later you can take it as a gift too we have uh, more cats here in the square this is actually a little one with the mummy all right we're gonna continue our road to the Grand Bazaar guys so yeah if you are around here just come check it out you can get some uh, old books or even even maybe if you are looking for a new ones you can you can find them here too oh maybe we can ask uh, to this gentleman since we are here let's give it a try Merhabalar. how are you brother do you do this uh, writings uh, is it possible to get my name written? Mm -hmm. uh, this is This Chamberli Tash. Chamberli Tash. This is the same. This Okay. This the same. This okay. okay. But uh, here, not possible. Burda no. mümkün değil. No, mümkün tamam. Değil. Tamam. Teşekkür ederim. Şey All right. It's not possible here, I guess. We need to find a different place. He said I have to get to the hammam and then later on find a different direction so I'm a fluent actually in Turkish so I can I can clearly communicate in Turkish with them but since my audience are in English so sometimes I might speak Turkish and then do the translation for you or sometimes I might just choose to challenge them a little bit to speak English since they are working with the tourists already so yeah this will be kind of the content I am actually gonna publish all right, let's get to the main entrance and then uh, get to the Grand Bazaar, which is an iconic place for shopping. You can find anything you are looking for. This part is called uh, Kapalı Çarşı. Let's go enter. Of course, there's a security. We have to go through the security. Merhabalar. Okay, our bags checked. 
and uh, now we are in Kapalı Çarşı. So I want to explain you something. Kapalı Çarşı in Turkish means basically closed bazaar. Kapalı means closed and Çarşı means uh, market or bazaar. And uh, but it translates still to English as a grand bazaar, which means like a big bazaar, uh, which is not completely true. So uh, basically, Kapalı means closed because we have a ceiling right here, and that's the reason the market is kind of closed on the top. So the businesses are getting ready. Still super early morning. It's uh, hello. It's still uh, 9 a.m. So the shops are getting open slowly. Uh, we will find some people actually having a breakfast in the morning. So they open the shop and then later on they get the breakfast and then sit together and eat, uh, which is a uh, very iconic and very interesting to see. If you are if you are here. Good morning, how are you? I am good, how are you? Good, what are you selling? <laughs> Scarves. Scarves. Okay, I will come later. See you. Okay. So, um, maybe what we can do actually to get some coffee, that would be iconic. This is what I was talking about, the people getting their breakfast early morning here. Assalamu alaikum. Merhabalar. Afiyet olsun. It's so beautiful. It, it's probably Turkey is actually the first country where I speak the full language so I'm like fluent in the language so it's not gonna be Merhaba, Asin <laughs> so it's gonna be quite fun to do the exploration and also interact with people like fluently so you don't need Google Translate or you don't gonna have uh, language barriers or whatever they're also, also washing the floors which is a little bit tricky for me to walk right now so lots of colorful shops here. You can get scarves, you can get uh, some watch, you can get uh, mainly uh, bags here, which is very, very famous. Look at this. There's a whole section here is actually selling the bags. And then uh, later on, we might get into the Egyptian Bazaar, which is one of my favorite places. Uh, it's called Musir Çarşısı, and we will be getting some dry fruits and then some spices there. And uh, lots of uh, Egyptian people working there as well. So, this is the Kapalı Çarşı. And the most important thing you have to check is always the ceiling here. Because every part of the bazaar has a different design. And there's a, one of my favorite spots for a coffee. So I will try to find that spot and then I will try to connect with you. But it might be actually here. So there is actually another section here. Oh, this, uh, these lamps are very, very famous um, in this part of the world, especially Turkey. Uh, I am sure other countries also using the similar style. But yeah, it's coming from the Ottoman Empire. So everywhere Ottomans been, um, they kept this kind of uh, artwork for the lamps look how beautiful and how colorful are they can you imagine how your house is designed in a similar way also carpets are a big part of the culture no way are you serious look at these guys look look who is here is this a marba is a the gentleman was here, the Viking guy? Yes. It's Ragnar Lofbrok. Ragnar Lofbrok. <laughs> <laughs> so Ragnar was here. Or is this a fake picture? No, no, it's original. It's an original picture. Yes. He was here in this shop. Yes. Wow. How cool is this? All right. If he, if he has been here, I want to see your shop. Is it okay? Is this your shop? Yes, sir. Okay, I can see it. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so if Ragnar Lofbrok was here, then I have to definitely check it out. How cool is that? But the shop is quite small because most people always say me, oh, you look like Ragnar Lofbrok, Ragnar Lofbrok. So that's why I'm here. Check this out. It's a beautiful shop. Lots of uh, different carpets here. It's beautiful. Brother, I can question what's the most expensive thing here? And Paul, uh, in my warehouse. warehouse. In, ah, in warehouse. Yeah, not here. The other shop. Ah, other shop. Ah, yes. So this is a small one. 
Yes. All right. Small shop. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Travis was here, hundred percent. All right. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. See you. Uh, I'm from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Hi, evet. Türkçe biliyorum ama kontentim İngilizce, o yüzden İngilizce konuşuyorum. Where do you live? Uh, I don't live anywhere. I live everywhere. You live everywhere. Everywhere is my home. <laughs> I sell flying carpets. Ah, uh, flying carpets. Yeah. So they will take me to home. Yeah. <laughs> Teşekkürler. Thank you so much. Uh, there's a coffee place, small. I think it's in this area yeah, or straight? Anti Pazar. Anti Pazar on the left side. Anti Pazar yeah, on the left, yeah. alright. Thank you. Teşekkürler. So, Trumbus female was here. Ragnar Lokbrok basically in that shop. I'm not sure if I should trust that because the picture looked a little bit, uh, a little bit fakeish. But uh, I'm gonna trust the gentleman that he was here. And why not? That he was not here. I don't see any reason. Istanbul uh, is quite iconic city so attracts uh, every person no matter what I'm not sure where we are going this is an antique shops here where you can get uh, some jewelry you can get your rings here we have these beautiful stone rings and uh, we have a little Louis Vuitton dog here which I already have hello. Marabalar, hello no I just checking thank you Ooh. That's a very iconic shop. Let's uh, let's have a look here. It's like a old silver shop. Marabalar, uh, can I see your shop? It's still open? No open. No camera. Okay. Teşekkürler. No camera. No video. And I'm not coming too. If my camera doesn't go somewhere, then I'm not going too. So this is the iconic uh, place, guys. This is where you can get your coffee and tea. But I have my favorite spot here which happens to be on that corner so let's see if we can get a Turkish coffee here there's a little seat here where you can chill, relax this is actually my favorite place but it's closed so we might try it out here Merhabalar uh, do you have a, a Turkish coffee? yes uh, can I have a medium sugar please? of course thank you so much you're welcome yeah. I will sit here yeah, and wait, you thank you. And how much is the Turkish coffee? It's 50 lira. 50 lira. Teşekkürler. All right, let me find a good spot for you guys where you can see me. Check this out, guys. This is a. This is actually eggplants. It's a dried eggplants. So they actually make a meal out of it. So they store this for winter, and later on they just fill it up with uh, meat, rice, and herbs, and then uh, you just basically boil it, and later on it becomes soft. And you can actually eat it during the winter when you don't have eggplants. Right, we are paying 50 Turkish liras to get a Turkish coffee. So this is the price. We're gonna pay two dollar and a half, basically, which is a normal price for a coffee. 50 lira is not much. I'm sure you can get a little bit cheaper in somewhere else, but. Uh, it's an average and normal price all right guys we're gonna get our coffee I'm gonna show you the how it looks like and then later on we're gonna move uh, to different parts and then later on we're gonna get to the different parts of Istanbul which I'm gonna show you in the rest of this video so see you in a while all right guys our Turkish coffee is here two dollars and half this is what we are paying for and uh, Turkish coffee actually comes uh, in three levels one is uh, no sugar at all and then second one is a uh, medium sugar and then you can also choose high sugar uh, which is not uh, really the recommended one so I normally go for the uh, medium sugar just to get a little bit sugar so it's not too strong and uh, this is how the coffee looks like normally cups comes, uh, comes in a quite iconic uh, cups and uh, we are we are also getting some dessert here next to it it's always the case so you might get normally lokum lokum means swallow kinda like because it's so easy to eat so it's called lokum this is a little bit bigger lokum with uh, some um, nuts inside and also the water comes with it which I'm gonna explain you later on uh, because when you're drinking the coffee basically it has a powder at the bottom so you're only supposed to drink um, two thirds of the cup because the one third of the cup is actually just a 
just a powder, basically, coffee powder, and uh, you don't drink, drink that part. But in case you drink that part, you just drink a little bit of water, just to wash out your mouth, and uh, that's going to be your finish of your uh, coffee. All right, let's try our medium level Turkish coffee. Oh, it's so good, so strong. And it's also very, very hot, so I need to wait a little bit, probably. Mm. It's great. Uh, you have to always try if you are in Istanbul or in, in Turkey in general, and it's one of the most common drinks they drink here. Iran is probably one of the famous drinks, but it which goes with the food, but the coffee is a starter of the day or after the food, that's what they drink. All right, Turkish coffee. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and we'll see you in a while. So, this is basically where you end your coffee. You have to leave one third of it at the bottom because it's just a powder, you cannot really drink it. And that's our end of our journey here with a Turkish coffee. And as a thing I want to mention is that uh, when you are ordering Turkish coffee, you have to actually ask for the sugar level. You have to announce it in, in advance because it's not possible when the coffee is done then you add a sugar, you know, like uh, this type of a sugar uh, after the coffee is made because the sugar level should be um, clear since beginning. So they make the coffee based on the level of the sugar you want. While they're making it, they add the sugar, and that's where, how it gets ready. Because you cannot later on add and then mix it, because you would ruin the coffee. So that's the concept behind. All right, we're gonna proceed slowly. Oh, Mr. T-Man is here. <laughs> All right, we need to pay, and then later on we're gonna go. But uh, another thing which is very interesting are the chairs here. Has a very unique design. Oh, it's Brother, ne kadar di? Elli, değil mi? Elli abi. Fifty. Yeah, that's you go. Is a no, no. Use, use all. Hundred. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kendine iyi bak. I like your jacket. Looks uh, very unique. No, no, no, no. You don't give it to me. It's just a very that's, interesting yeah, design. Different design, yeah. <laughs> and uh, how can I get to Egyptian Bazaar? Is this right, left? First left. First left. First right. First right. All right. And you will see gate. Okay. Outside, just five minutes. You will Amazing. Go. Thank you so much. Teşekkürler. And, uh, you have also beautiful lights. Oh, thank you so much. That's thank nice you. Man. I really appreciate it. Teşekkür ederim. Görüşürüz. Afiyet olsun. All right. We need to take a left, and then right. we're gonna take a right, and we will get to the Egyptian Bazaar direction. And um, uh, this is the basically. There are lots of uh, gold and silver places. Uh, this is where you can do your shopping as well. Look at this, so much gold here. All right, we're gonna proceed this way. I'm gonna leave the bazaar area slowly. Again, lots of uh, bags. I'm not really in need of uh, any shopping at the moment, except I might buy some chest bag. And uh, that's gonna be our, probably in the next video, we'll see. When, when things coming together for us to do the shopping in the right place. But in general, when you come to the Kapalı Çarşı, which is the closed uh, or covered uh, bazaar, uh, it, which is also called Grand Bazaar in English, uh, that's where you do your shopping for the gold, silver, engagement rings, bags, and uh, wedding preparations. Also, you can find lots of uh, textile here. Right, this is the exit. So once you check the check out from the security, which means uh, Kapalı Çarşı is over, and then you get into Grand Bazaar area, which is the huge area with all these beautiful and iconic items. These are all wedding dresses and winter jackets. Uh, you can get your watch and stuff like that. So everything is possible here. Which brings me to next point. We might be actually looking for the chest bag thing. I'm not sure what's the clear name for it in English, but I keep calling it chest bag, which you can put over your chest and you put your wallet and uh, phone there, which helps me quite a lot with while I'm traveling. Ooh. Oh, maybe one of these shops, possibly. 
or we just proceed further and find out. <laughs> Maybe one of these shops. Looks uh, for the ladies here. All these uh, fake branded uh, bags and wallets. This one is nice, but it screams Louis Vuitton, and I don't really want that. Again, I'm gonna mention that again because these places are quite chaotic during the day so it gets uh, quite busy right now it's uh, morning that's why it's more quiet i think uh i bought one time wallet from here i might uh, check it out again marabalar hello. Hello, hello brother do you have a chest bag ah to him brother how are you do you have a chest bag like on chest like uh, for wallet and for uh, these are not my style, but I want something different. Oh, Louis Vuitton. Yes. Wow, that's uh, that also screams Louis Vuitton. How much is this? Lira. Lira? Dollar? One dollar, sixty dollar. Sixty dollar. Wow. It's so it's a fake original. It's fake original. Fake original Louis Vuitton. Sixty dollars. What's yeah. the last price? Fifty. Okay. Fifty. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna check uh, other places to okay. see if there's any different style, and I might be back. Thank you. Teşekkürler. All right, fifty-dollar Louis Vuitton bag, fake original, but uh, normally the bags here I kind of like identical to the original ones and with a high quality, so you can use them for multiple years upcoming. Uh, there's another bag shop here, but I don't see my style stuff. But uh, once we go down on the right side, there are gonna be lots of uh, bag shops wallet shops so during the morning it's quite chill here where you can enjoy the walk because in afternoon or evening you cannot walk straight here because there are gonna be so many people on the left right so you have to maneuver them assalamu alaikum merhaba nasılsınız ben de iyiyim uh brother do you have a chest bag like you put on your chest like this yeah yes can i see you can see, but we have in showroom, not here. Ah, showroom. Where is yeah. it? This is not showroom? Not far away, not showroom. <laughs> okay. If you have time, come check it for my showroom. Okay, I just go down or where is no, it? one minute in here. Yeah, ah, okay. I open, I close. Ah, you open, you close. Come check it, maybe <laughs> okay. you like it. Okay, but you give me good prices? No. No, bad prices. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna get the bad prices. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah, this is like a uh, storage. Yeah. yeah, storage room, all right. Uh, we have a uh, uh, shoes, big showroom for shoes and uh, clothes. Ah, all right. Oh, this is a sexy ladies area. Mm, just uh, like that. All right. This is a night sleeping section, basically. But normally I think you buy this stuff uh, before the wedding too. So it will be for the bride, which looks beautiful. I'm from Azerbaijan. Where are you from? Volta. Where are you from? Turkish. Turkish. I'm Turkish too, basically. Volta. I try to speak English because my audience speak English uh, and no they don't understand hey, Turkish so much. <laughs> oh, assalamu alaikum. We have the showroom. Isan Cheese bin Dallan. This for ladies or for men? Both. Both. Okay. We're gonna. What? Oh, I take it the new ones, the showroom. All right, little bad. So, exclusive uh, customers, make it. <laughs> right? And we have that one, uh, yeah. But I need, I like need, this. I need something like this, but maybe a little bit more uh, simple style, like it doesn't scream Louis Vuitton, like more simple. You that know? one, we don't have it. You don't have so only you have branded, only we have branded. Okay, how much is uh, this Gucci? That one, yeah. That one, one and a half dollar. How much? One and a half dollar. One hundred fifty dollars. A uh, one hundred fifty dollar. Wow. Yeah. I don't that even have. That one the first quality. I don't even have that much money to put inside, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that, okay. That's it. Why well, right. you know that one all the real leather ones. All right. So it's for mostly for ladies and. Ladies uh, and men. Man. Man we only. Have little. Man only little. Man don't, don't buy. <laughs> <laughs> only little buy. Yeah, man only buy for women basically. Yes. 
All right, brother. Thank you so much for showing me Have your shop. Day. What was your name? You're welcome. Izet. Izet. Davud. Davud. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, the brother. Kendine iyi bak. Görüşürüz. Bye bye. All right. We got the chance to see the shop, but uh, 150 dollar for Gucci or Louis Vuitton bag. Not really, especially when I'm traveling in other countries. You need to be more, more low profile. You don't want to show off too much. Uh, for the safety basically all right uh, we saw this section too but we're gonna proceed further I'm sure we're gonna find something more simple and much cheaper prices we'll see and sometimes I just take a walk actually in these areas it's quite fun to see how people shopping, what they're buying and uh, you find different people here, different different characters basically. Oh, I can see a little bit uh, messy area here. This might be our section for shopping. Assalamu alaikum, merhaba. Brother, how much uh, how much are this uh, chest bags? 350 350 dollars or lira, lira. <laughs> <laughs> so what's a what's a good quality ah, this Prada looks uh, very simple and nice is this a good quality it's good. It's cheap, uh, quality. cheap do you have a better quality I have better quality expensive. <laughs> uh, expensive show me expensive first can I see expensive showroom, no. ah it's a different showroom okay inside no only for women only for only for women. All right. Only for women. All right. Let me let me have a look. How much is a Tommy Hilfiger? Tommy, 350. 350. Yeah. 350 is in dollars. How much is in dollars? Dollar. Um, I'm gonna 50. check it. So 350. Ah, uh, 18 dollar. Yeah. So it's 18 dollar, 350, which is a much cheaper price. Then Louis Vuitton or Gucci bag. So we have uh, this option. This looks good quality, no? This is not cheap, cheap, cheap quality. Not but high quality. Medium. Medium. Quality. Medium quality. Yeah. So this there's a Prada option, not this one. There's a Gucci option. There's a Prada option, and we have uh, this option too. But I don't like it too much. All right, brother. Can I take this one, please? What's uh, what's your final price? Three hundred okay. 300 final price 250 is possible 300 good. 280 <laughs> 300 good. all right let's do 300 okay. brother yes yes yes let's do it all right i need to where are you from i'm from azerbaijan, azerbaijan. yes i'm gonna put... yes i make videos all right i found a place to put my camera so 300 final price yeah, 300 Ah, you have a uh, another Tommy Hilfiger yeah, same there. Thing. Same, same. Same, same. All right, can you give me from there so it's not okay. dusty? Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I want from the inside. All right, brother. Here's a. Thank you. Nice shop. Lots of uh, beautiful items. If you want to get a little bit bigger bags, these are your options too. You think I can take off this Tommy Hilfiger text? Or it's a... Uh, it's not, it's, I think... It's stuck there. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. You. What's your name? Emin. Emin. Yeah. Davut. Thank you. Emin oldum. Kendine iyi bak. Görüşürüz. Bye bye. Alright, we paid as a final price 300. Which brings us to $15 basically. We bought a $15 chest bag, which I actually haven't tried yet. We might be trying it at home, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine for $15. Good rate, I think. Probably you could negotiate a little bit lower than that to bring it down to $250 or something, but uh, it's a morning business, so let them have it. $250 is good. $300 is good. The food is a very big part of Turkish culture 
and obviously while you are shopping you can also get a quick snacks if you don't want to have a proper lunch I'm gonna show you a few options here there's this uh, street vendors uh, here you can get a toast basically bread and uh, there will be between maybe some butter and then ham and cheese all the wedges he's putting some honey inside too which looks great and then on the other end we have the burek it's basically with cheese or meat inside and we also have some uh, pastry here we have a smith we have some uh, we also have some pastry with chocolate and cheese inside which, uh, which looks great oh yes Abi. i think uh, i will give a try to this uh, sandwich here might be quite option good good option to try it out Ooh, we have also something getting cooked here so it's like uh, 45 lira oh teşekkürler Abi 45 değil mi? Gençler büyükler 45 lira abi. Küçükler? Küçükler 40 lira. Küçükler 40. Bunlar da 25 lira. Tamam. Bana bir sevdiğin sandviç yapabilir misin? Tabii. Lütfen. Al merhaba. Ha? Abi hangisinden yaparım? Abi sen küçüğünden olsun. Küçük bundan. Sen sevdiğin gibi. Bel belki ballı, kaymaklı Tatlı falan bir şey. Tatlı istiyorsun. Nasıl istiyorsun? Tatlı aynen. Tamam. Alright, we are getting a sweet sandwich here. He is putting a kaymak. Which is um, we also have uh, peanuts, we have a cho chocolate. Wow, that's gonna be very heavy. And we are also getting a banana. Wow, teşekkürler. We are getting a little piece of a banana with chocolate, peanuts, we have a honey. Wow, that's gonna be very, very sweet actually. But it's gonna be iconic. <laughs> teşekkürler abi. Teşekkürler. Hadi. Yılan. değil mi? 40 lira 100 var. Kalan kalsın sana. Yok olmaz. Yok yok yok kalsın. Vallahi kalsın. Teşekkür ederim. Tamam. Elle o zaman. Teşekkürler. Kolay gelsin. Oh, we have an iconic sandwich, which I'm gonna eat later on. It's quite a cool way. There's also little barrack place here. Uh, again, it's the similar style from the street vendor. You can get uh, with cheese, you can get with meat. Get your snacks, maybe have a breakfast first and then afterwards go explore because shopping can be really tiring in general. While you're walking around and you have to make decisions, your eyes are searching all the time, you get uh, quite exhausted. All right, we are slowly approaching actually to uh, to Egyptian Bazaar which is uh, just in front of us as you can see it's getting quite uh, busy right now but uh, maybe in one hour you will not be seeing on uh, the other side all right Mısır Çarşısı Mısır Mısır in Turkish means Egypt so that's how they call country Egypt as a Musur and Çarşı means a bazaar market so the name is Musur Çarşısı which stands for Egyptian Bazaar Teşekkürler abi Yok valla teşekkür ederim Merhabalar Kolay gelsin abi Ooh, this is the iconic Egyptian Bazaar guys Look at these views The ceiling when you are traveling in this part of the world you have to look to the roof more than you are looking around because the architecture is just insane and beautiful. Obviously, we're gonna check out some of the items here too. It's uh, one hole here, second. So there's uh, two sides of the bazaar. We're gonna go for the longer one and you find all these different spices and you get some sweets here too, which is normally actually very similar style. Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. So the only competition uh, there is basically is the prices and how they are trying to sell it to you. Uh, most of them will be trying to bring you to the shop. That's, uh, that's the way they compete between themselves 
because otherwise uh, products are quite similar. I'm sure some of them has a exclusivity, but in general they are quite similar. As you will see, all the colors and all the items are same. There are also some baklava here. Oh, this shop looks uh, very, very busy. I, I'm guessing it's actually a group arrived there. That's the, that's the reason. Looks nice, nice, nice. Marabalar. All right. Maybe buy some uh, spices. That will be really cool. Marabalar. How are you, brother? I'm fine. Good. You can just this. You speak good English. Little, little. 50-50. Come, please, come. Okay. What, what, what are you selling? No, thank you, brother. I, I brushed my teeth. No. What, what are you making? Swan medicine. What, what is this tea? No, it's not tea. It's just, just uh, lemon, mint, menthol, eucalyptus tea. Okay, so it's something cold. like a tea, but without tea. This for cold. Oh Good. wow, it's, uh, it's really hot, brother. I need to wait for this. <laughs> okay, no problem. Are All you right. Sweet, so you can try. Uh, I just want to check first, and then uh, no, no, I, I don't want. I, I brushed my teeth. I don't want to eat right now. But I'm gonna check no your shop. So these are all type of uh, different teas we can get. This one I have just mint tea. Okay. No, just for go so, sleep. Ah, for Viagra. sleeping. Yes. All right. This one Viagra tea. This is winter tea. This is a Viagra food. tea. Ah, yes. Oh, does it help? Viagra tea. <laughs> yes. yes. yes. <laughs> I don't have a need, but maybe in the future I will okay. keep in mind. <laughs> this one winter tea. Okay, winter tea. Nice. Uh, yes. And where are you from? Uh, I am Egypt. Egyptian. Okay, yes, very nice. Egyptian. Are are there many Egyptians here working in this uh, bazaar? Yes, some. Mostly. Yes. Arabs, Egyptians. Uh, Arab, Egyptian, Syria. Yeah, mix. mix. Assyrians too. Yes, yes. All right, very nice. Yeah, and then uh, this is cholesterol a cholesterol very... tea. This one for uh, sugar sick. Okay. For cholesterol, it's good. Oh, for nice, body. good. So yes. it's it's a all herbal teas. Uh, which is very very interesting they're using this powder he made actually tea uh, for me one, they just Bumbu basically put the water and then it becomes yes, uh, tea it's really like Nescafe. all right Bumbu nice have i will uh, i will probably buy some uh, do you have a date date yeah i love it i love dates uh, is, yes is this a this iranian date it's, uh, no, it's palestine palestinian yes. all right uh, i'm gonna have uh, like 100 lira if possible yeah no thank you thank you i brushed my teeth so, but Dates are always good option. Mm. So we're gonna get some dates. There's also different dry fruit and chocolate combination stuff there. And dry fruits. Ah, dry fruits are very famous here too. So 400 lira, brother, yeah? 400. No, no, 100. 100. Yeah, 400 <laughs> yeah. would be like a whole shop. <laughs> oh, you have a lot of money here. This, uh, yes. Very nice. Yes. Do you do you have a Azer Urdu. do you have Azerbaijanian money? Azerbaijan money you, you don't no, have. No, I can see Malaysian here. Malaysian, yes. And, um, this yeah. Egyptian money. Ah, this is Egyptian money. Yes. All right. And yeah, Uzbekistan. This, uh, Uzbekistan. This is Kuwait. Ah, this is Kuwait. Kuwait yes. Oman. Yes. Moldova. Very nice. But no Azerbaijan money. No Azerbaijan money. Nice. <laughs> it's fine. Yes. This one, Turkish delight with honey. With honey? You know, yes, no sugar. Ah. This with honey. Okay, I'll try. This is Bumgrani. I'll try. Inside the uh, pistache. Can try. It's a Ozani. I said I will not eat, but I start eating. <laughs> Quite good. Let's drop the seed here. Uh, all right, 100 for that, and then um, <coughs> we have the locums here, different options, quite a rich shop, there's always fresh stuff here. And uh, I might try, do you have a... Some chocolate inside, strawberry. Strawberry? Yes. Strawberry inside, yes. wow. That's a... That's right, it's nice. Mm. This is how it looks like. We have a dry strawberry and outside is actually chocolate. Do you have a um, with almond chocolate with almond? Yes. Oh, yeah. I have uh, with uh, plain one or uh, pomegranate? No, no, no, plain. Plain. Is this the one? This one. Uh, so basically, people don't have to have a breakfast. They can just come and eat here and go home. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already full from all this uh, trying stuff. They also give you tea. This one with milk and almond. 
Milk and almond. Yes. Oops, oops. But uh, this one is not almond. This is not almond, it's a biscuit. Uh, but do you have almond? Yes, this one. This one, okay. Yes. So we have almond and chocolate and milk? Yes. Alright. Can I have a hundred lira from this? Hundred lira, okay. Please. So, they are very, very generous here. You can get whatever you want to try, they, you can just take it. Of course, they're expecting you to do the business, but it's not mandatory to do it. Oh, we have a Zafran here. Zafran. Is this from Iran? Yes. Iranian. This is good quality. Iranian Zafran is more expensive than the gold. It's um, such a valuable. Uh, treasure. I have first quality and so quality. How much is this? What's the first quality? Uh, this quality is this one. Uh, I make. I make you no problem. This no, no, one, no. Second ah. quality 184 euro. Know. First quality 250. So this is the first quality, best this quality. quality yes. So it's a 250. Oh, basically, one gram is 10 dollars, 12 dollars, something like that. Uh -huh. So one gram is actually, but one gram means you get a, quite a chunk of it. It's not like uh, it's gonna be really tiny because it's so light. This is good. No problem. Yeah, good quality. No, no, I'm just checking the price. Okay. I was uh, I was in Iran and uh, they love saffron, tea, food, uh, everything, sweets. They put saffron on it and it's amazing. Good. Yeah. All right, brother. Uh, where are you from? From Egypt. I am in Iskandaria. Uh, Iskandaria. Yes. Okay. I never been Egypt, but I'm planning to go. Uh, All right, uh, another thing I want to mention, if you are buying anything, they can actually press it for you in this machine. Um, I'm going to show you actually right now the gentleman. Gentle, no, no, brother, I think, uh, I w what is this? It's perfume. Perfume? Yes. Mm, they are also selling perfume. So you can actually get your products pressed so it's easier to travel with, so it doesn't spill out or anything. So he's just putting it there. Closing it down, takes the air out, your products uh, will stay longer in this uh, type of a packaging basically. Alright brother, uh, no I think I'm, I, I, already, I already have a perfume so, but it, this smells very good, thank you. Alright, time to pay, do you take card here? Yes. Uh, would you mind if I pay with card? We did a little bit of a shopping here. So I have some snacks for later on. Huh, brother? I'm a full-time vlogger. <laughs> I vlog all, everything. On the YouTube? Yes, on YouTube. And I don't know where's my wallet. Maybe somewhere here, somewhere there. I don't, I don't really... Something too much? Uh, 30. Okay. All together? Uh -huh. 250. Okay. All right, all right. Let's do it. I can pay with card, right? Okay, no problem. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So we are paying for all of this a little bit more than uh, $10. $1 is uh, 20 lira, basically. Uh, let's try my scoring card. I can do the tap? On the screen. On the screen. All right. Thank you so much for the hospitality. No problem. And where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Turkey. Which part of Turkey? Istanbul. Istanbul. Nice. Istanbul. Beautiful. I'm also Turkish uh, ethnically. I'm from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Yeah, yeah. So, Welcome, brother. But I have a big audience uh, from. By the way, thank you for that. You are helping for the Erkü place the first time. Uh, biggest. Ah, it's no, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, it's true. But always brother to brother. Thank you. I don't need this. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Take I took my brother. products and uh, see you next time. I go check out more shops. <laughs> Thank, you. Brother, Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for hospitality Welcome. and uh, you will see yourself on YouTube. Inshallah. I will post it. Inshallah. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. All right, where we were coming from exactly? I think I was coming from there. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna proceed uh, another direction. There are also different exits here where you can get out. So, uh, as I mentioned, lots of those products are quite similar. So you don't get the 
the variation, but you have everything you are looking for. You can get your perfume, hello. You can get your dry fruits, you can get some sweets, uh, saffron if you are looking for. There's some touristic items here too. But most importantly, the whole vibe here is so beautiful. It's so clean here too. And uh, different nationalities work here. So you might not find always Turkish people here um, because it's an Egyptian bazaar. So most of the people here are either Syrian or Egyptian. So they do the, they do the business here basically. And uh, most of the tourists coming to this here, normally I think Turkish people wouldn't really come for shopping here because prices are a little bit high. So it's more touristic. Uh, that's why they need Arabic speaking, they need English speaking people. That's the reason you see lots of foreigners here. Now uh, we are getting out of the um, Mısır Çarşısı. And this is actually a very, very famous coffee place. You see always there's a huge lines here. And uh, this is also another favorite part of mine for Istanbul visit. There is a nothing more than this little bazaar that screams Mediter Mediterranean uh, because you find all these beautiful items here, cheese, fish and uh, olives. I'm gonna show you how colorful is this place and we might possibly do a little bit shopping with the olives or some, some dry fruits again. Right now they are in the cleaning process actually. We can go a little bit further. So there's a cheese section, there's a baklava place, there's a olives shops. This gentleman is uh, cutting the cheese, so let's have a look what he's exactly doing. Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Sağ olun. Hangi şey bu? Peynir? Önce bir sorsan abi çekebilir miyim diye. Tamam çekebilmez miyim? Evet, tamam. All right, he said uh, we cannot film. Some people are really scared of a uh, camera here. Maybe we can try here. Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Uh, çekebiliyor muyuz? Tabii. Tamam, teşekkürler. Uh, meşhur peynirlerinizde neyiniz var? Which is the most famous cheese? Diyarbakır, Diyarbakır lavash is the most famous. Very right. And is it a cheese? Can I try? Is it possible to try? How do I try? Ah, this one. Ah, it's already cut. All right. Mm. Doesn't have a really salty taste to it. Biraz daha tuzlu var mı? Do you have a little bit more salty? Tuzlu. You don't have like no no salty cheese? Yes, no salty. Only this. Okay. Um this one. Bunun ismi ne? Çeçil. Çeçil peynir. This is a çeçil peynir. I had my whole breakfast actually while exploring the bazaars. Mm, this is good. Maybe I will have um, this one. Brother can I have this one, please? How much? Um, maybe 100 lira. 100 lira. Is okay? Perfect. I'm from Azerbaijan. Türkçe de olur, İngilizce de olur. Okay, uh, I will have. Tamam abi, çadır kişiye bir şey var. Ne, kime ne vereceğiz? Söyle de vereyim. Bana bana abi. Ne kadar vereyim abi? Ne? Uh, one otlu 100 lira var. 100 lira. 100 lira. <gülüyor> no fights guys, no fights. And then uh, obviously olives are very very famous here. So you get a uh, different varieties of olives which you can purchase too. Very, very colorful, fresh morning here. Teşekkürler abi. This is a 200 Turkish lira. This is a picture of Atatürk. Abi bunu nereye veriyoruz? Ah, fish geliyor. They're gonna bring a receipt for us and then we're gonna purchase our cheese. 
Abi 114 alır mı? Tamam 114 olsun. Başka bir şey var mı? Yok o kadar. Onları vapurla abiye. Teşekkürler. Nereye veriyoruz? Ha kasa içeride. Benimkilerde 4 kilo. The cashier is inside so we have to go all the way in. Merhaba. We also have uh, sausages here, dry meat. It smells so good here. Abi, what's your name? My name is Yasin. Nasıl? Benim adım Yasin. Yasin. Evet. Yasin. Davut, memnun oldum. Memnun oldum abi. <gülüyor> Bazı arkadaşlar they don't want to be filmed. They say no no no film. <gülüyor> Sen nereden geliyorsun? Ben Bakü'den, Azerbaycan. Bakü'den geliyorsun. Aynen. Alright. Meanwhile we are waiting. We can check more items here. More cheese, obviously. You also get a honey here. Organic um, gems. Looks very nice. We also have uh, this nicely packaged ball, which is, stands for honey. Abi teşekkürler. Abi, Kolay gelsin. gelsin. Teşekkür ederiz. Alright guys, we have our cheese. The payment is done. And this is the fish section. Let's have a look what uh, what type of fish they have. Oh, all of this looks uh, very very fresh and nice. Alright guys. This is Grand Bazaar Exploration. Now we are actually in the Eminönü. This is the area where you can take boats to go to different sites of uh, Istanbul. Uh, quite a big hub actually. Uh, all the tram lines connect here, all the boats connect here. So it's a famous area basically. There's also the selection process uh, at the moment. So there will be elections uh, happening in Turkey. That's the reason you see lots of uh, flags and decorations for of the different parties and these are the different uh, kind of trucks where they promote their own campaigns and we also have a beautiful mosque in the distance and this is the another entrance to the Egyptian bazaar which is also known as a spice bazaar all right been a long day I think uh, over an hour I will see you in the next one guys. I'm gonna do more Istanbul explorations and uh, I'm gonna show you another side of uh, this beautiful city and a beautiful country with beautiful people. See you next time, signing out slowly.